Oh, okay. Oh, no. oh, Sukianto. Sukianto, very famous. Nice to meet you. Yeah. And also in here have a participant from Malaysia, from Pakistan, and also from Iraq, not Indonesia only. Even though wow. just a few people, wow. but wow. not only Indonesia <laughs> for the student. Oh, very good. Very good. Very good. So in the uh, uh, for okay. people from Malaysia, from uh, what else? From Malaysia, Malaysia and uh, Iraq, from Iraq oh, oh. and Pakistan. I I I see it. Good, good. Okay. Okay. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, Chao An. Uh, today we have a great speaker from Taiwan, and today a graduate school of doctoral program physical education, Universitas Negeri Semarang, will have a webinar with the topic physical education and sport for all. And we will have an excellent speaker from Chinese Culture University, that is my university when I was studying in doctoral program. And here is the Dean of Graduate School of Sport Coaching Science. We'll have a brief, uh, brief scientific about physical education on our sport in Taiwan. So we can study how is Taiwan look like when they doing physical education. And before that, we have a Will be have opening speech from Professor Sugianto, and then after that we can take picture together, and then we'll have webinar, and then we have question and answer, and closing ceremony. Okay, now uh, we will start opening speech. Please welcome Professor Sugianto. KSMS, the time is yours. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning. Yes. Everybody, we have stay healthy for today and till end of pandemic. The Honorable Professor Fran Yu, FST, Director for Graduate Institute of Forts Coaching Science, Chinese uh, Cultural University Taiwan, and also participant of webinar in physical education with the topics physical education and sport for all. I would like to welcome our excellent speaker, Professor Fran Yu, in this prestigious webinar. We are very happy to present Professor Fran in this event. I hope this event can be continued in the future. Finally, I would like to say happy joining this event, Cap Spirit. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, Okay. Thank you, Professor Sugianto, for a welcoming speech. And then we can we take a picture together before we start, and then we take together after the last, before and after, <laughs> pre and post. Uh, Ms. Meldi, would you please to help us to taking picture? Okay, please turn on your camera. Everyone, everyone, uh, turn on the a camera, yes. Yeah, please. Oh, and here also Castle Pido in here, you know Castle Pido? Anna, come from Philippines. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, please on your camera. Turn on your camera. And turn off your microphone. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, cheese. 
I'm so sorry. Yes. But there is much of the participant not turn, not turn on. on the camera. Yeah. Maybe I will set. Probably they go to somewhere. They just. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I, yeah, I will. I will pronounce in Indonesian. Uh, kepada teman-teman, mohon dihidupkan kameranya. Silakan. Kami akan mengambil gambar. Ya, kepada teman-teman semua, silakan dihidupkan kameranya. Uh, ya, yeah, ya, yeah, tenang, tenang, yes. Yes, intra. Right. <laughs> yeah, intra. <laughs> okay, I will uh, I will take the picture please. Uh, it's, uh, it's smile for us. Mr. Indra, I told you uh, Mr. Pak Indra mohon hidupkan kamera saja jangan ya, yeah, okay. Jangan menghidupkan mikrofonnya. Oke, okay, aku akan ngambil gambarnya ya. 1 2 3 nyalakan 1. Oke. Okay. Oke, okay, yang halaman dua. Oke, okay, thank you for your participation. Terima kasih atas partisipasinya membuka kamera. Uh, silakan kami kembalikan ke Bu Didit. J, matras suan sangat, Mas Meldi. Nyuan pangapunten, sampang lepoti. Oke, okay, uh, we continue. So, okay. Now I would like to introduce a uh, professor from Chi Honglu before he gives us some speech. So, uh, actually, this webinar is implementation of MOU last time that between university, our vice rector going to uh, went to the Chinese Culture University on. 2020 and now uh, we will have webinar and here is actually the view that has been seen for five years so very beautiful place so you can study in there also I recommend it because here in the mountain and you can also see the rainbow every day. Uh, this is my professor, the handsome man and the freaking freaking. And Professor Frank Ji Hong Lu, the Dean of Graduate Schools for Coaching Science, Chinese Culture University, Taipei, Taiwan. And you know, he wearing party that you know uh, from Indonesia. It look like Indonesian people, not like Taiwanese. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I love it. <laughs> so <laughs> here, so if you want to have a joint publication together with Professor Frank Ji Hong Lu, he has so many publications, uh, 27 in Scopus, and each index is 10, and the citation is 260. So it can be the World class professor. If you want to join the VCP program, please invite him. Okay, so thank you. Uh, now is your time, Professor Lu. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, thank you for uh, teaching's uh, introduction. Uh, uh, first, I would like, uh, before I would like a uh, whole picture of, of a graduate uh, program in Taiwan, I would like to introduce uh, 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 Chinese culture first. So now I share my, my, uh, my, okay, my PPT here. Can, can, can I share? Yes, of course you can share it. Okay. Let me set you the co-host for this moment. I need a little bit time to find my file and introduce a uh, Chinese Culture University. Uh, the uh, Graduate Institute, uh, 
of sport coaching science the program. Mm -hmm. We will write you. Okay. 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 Before you are uh, 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 doing a lecture, lecturing on this moment, some of the participants uh, requesting your PowerPoint. So maybe you can send your presentation to the chat box on our Zoom. Uh, okay. okay. No, 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 not this one. Uh, maybe, do you need help? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm still. Uh, never mind. Looking never mind. for the file. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the file they, they, they do it this way. This way because it it uh, takes uh, uh, too too long to. Uh... <laughs> wait, 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 I will wait. write. I, we will write for your presentation. Just no, no, no. Let, let me let me directly report you about uh, 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 my program and and my, and the program in in Taiwan. Uh, we have uh, more than 20 years of PhD uh, program in, 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 in Taiwan. Uh, my school, Chinese Culture University, and we have a four major area of sports science for PhD degree. One is sport biomechanics and one is sports psychology. That's, that's my, my expertise. And the third one, exercise physiology. And the first one uh, 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 is uh, immunology, exercise immunology. So basically it's all natural science discipline. And we have a, a four, two, a four major lab. So all the major professor, they, uh, they recruit uh, outstanding universe, uh, uh, students from uh, Taiwan and all over the world to, to, uh, to do the study in, in these four fields. So every year we have, uh, uh, we attend in the international conference and we do our research at home and we publish our paper in domestic uh, journals and international journals. For example, myself, every year, every year, I have uh, about uh, five PhD students and five uh, master degree students come to my office. And when they come to my office, they have to attend the class and they have to uh, uh, join the experiment a sports psychology experiment, including uh, in the lab, in the lab uh, for motor learning and motor performance. And the other one is uh, doing the questionnaire uh, correction. And the third one is qualitative. So that's the, the operation of the, our system. So every, every major uh, uh, sports science lab, biomechanics, exercise physiology, exercise immunology, and sports psychology. We do the same thing. We recruit students come to our lab. They taking the course, they do the experiment, they collect data and they analyze and they uh, attend the international conference and publish their papers. That's the, that's the uh, uh, regular operation of the uh, 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 of, of our uh, sports science labs. And in addition to Chinese Cultural University, for undergraduate program, we, we have 42 undergraduate uh, uh, program related to sport, exercise, digital study, recreation, and health science. Now today, Physical education in Taiwan is a big definition. When, when we say traditional, say uh, physical education, but in Taiwan, physical education is a big family. So I say we have 42 undergraduate, but for, for uh, graduate, graduate program, for master's degree, 
we are about 38, 38 schools, they have a master's degree. But for PhD, so far, only six universities. Chinese Cultural University, National Taiwan Normal University, that's a public school, the number one. And then the uh, uh, City University, uh, uh, University of Taipei, the, the Dang Dang here is a public school, uh, University, Dang, uh, uh, University of Taipei. And National Taiwan Sport University, National Taiwan Sport University. And the National Taiwan Sport University, uh, National Taiwan University of Sport and Physical Education. And the sixth one is, it's a new National Taizong uh, Normal University. So my government policy is for a PhD program, they have a restriction. Uh, when every school, they want to apply a PhD program, they have to submit the all types of documents and, and to, to present how, how many uh, facilities, libraries, faculty members, and your uh, curriculum design. Mm -hmm. So after they, they submit their document to the government, and the government uh, 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 review, review the all document and decide to approve or not. So it is not so easy to to uh, to pass the, the evaluation to establish uh, uh, PhD PhD programs in sports science in Taiwan. Last time I visit uh, visit the, the Samarang University Unis, I found you have a very good potential because I talked to the the, the, the dean, and and your team have a very strong ambition to 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 uh, establish establish the PhD program. That's very important. And in Taiwan, we are also a very uh, 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 strong uh, uh, plan to connect with the whole world. But because of, during the night, start from the night, uh, 2019, the, because outbreak of the COVID-19, now the, the, the international exchange almost closed. That's why teaching was graduated before the outbreak of COVID-19. So now the international student for, for, for example, Chinese Cultural University, it's all, all cross, all cross. So it, it, is, it, it is not, uh, 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 it is impossible for, for foreign uh, student, international to come to school, but still some student here. For, for application to the uh, uh, PhD program in Taiwan, all international students, they only use application. They don't, they don't, they don't need the examination. In Taiwan, for domestic students, they have to join the uh, entrance examination. The entrance examination, including the uh, uh, basic knowledge is, uh, uh, of sports science, like uh, biomechanics, Sports psychology, exercise physiology. It, it, it's a examination, knowledge, and theory testing. And for international students, they just uh, 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 submit their document and apply it. And the, the, each uh, PhD program, the school, they will review the evil qualification. So, and, 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 for international students, it depends on uh, every school's uh, budget and policy. For Chinese Cultural University, uh, in the past, we, we have a, a huge financial support from Ministry of Foreign Affairs. So we, uh, we allow uh, international students to come here. But during recent years, it's uh, because too many students come to Taiwan to Chinese Cultural University. So, so the budget is, you know, spreading out. So it becomes string. So this is the, the important, important thing because the budget limit, limit the, uh, the number of students come to the Taiwan. But for another school, uh, for example, 
the the tang here University of Taipei. I know there are some Indonesia university students there. Uh, last time I I I, I met a, a Indonesian PhD student over there. Uh, Abdul, I don't know whether he is still there or not. And for, for this course, uh, there are several uh, scholarship, scholarship. One is from uh, the major professor. One is from the school's uh, uh, tuition policy. For example, Chinese Cultural University for international students, they have a three level of tuition waiver. One is four scholarship. One is half scholarship, and one is uh, about fifty percent assistant like that. So it it it's a it's a, uh, hard to hard to to, to say uh, uh, which one is better. So including uh, to uh, uh, to Chinese Cultural University University of Taipei, if the students are quite outstanding, what mean outstanding? They are proficiency in English. They are good in mathematics, in uh, exercise uh, and sports science uh, uh, performance, and they can apply to the school. And then it, it, and, and the school offer them uh, uh, depends on their their uh, the applicants' quality, uh, from a full scholarship to a fifty percent uh, uh, scholarship uh, assistance. So. And the this is the general situation of all schools. And regarding to graduates from uh, Taiwan to get a PhD degree, every school have their different design. For Chinese Cultural University, we only require twenty six credit hours. So so the so the procedure like this first year to apply. And once you got admission, that means you enter the courses. Then you uh, you uh, you select twenty six hours of academic critic, and then the third step is to get a uh, it's a call uh, uh, qualification of qualification of PhD dissertation. Call it. Qualification of PhD uh, 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 a dissertation, they have two steps. One is your publication. One is publication requirement. For Chinese Cultural University, you have to publish at least one international journal, SSCI paper or SSCID paper. Then you pass the qualification of publication. The other one is comprehensive exam. Everybody understand comprehensive exam does mean to evaluate whether this PhD candidate they understand all the knowledge. I think teaching had, had, had passed this bit at the uh, comprehensive exam. It's a broad and deep. So the 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 professor just hand out uh, comprehensive. Uh, exam question, and and uh, the PhD candidate they have to answer the all question, and only pass and fail these two level. So the, at least they have to uh, you know for one hundred point they they need at least seventy that's been passed. So after they they pass the uh, qualification review, that's mean publication and comprehensive exam. Then they have final dissertation. Dissertation. So dissertation, we organize a viva both. Viva both. So uh, the viva both committee are about five to seven. So after the finish of viva both, and the, the the members give you the uh, comments or decide to uh, accept or reject. And then after the SEP, so you finish your PhD pro, uh, degree. So in, in Chinese cultural university, it, it takes about the quickest one, at least three years. 
that for the other school, uh, like a uh, University of Taipei, uh, National Taiwan Normal University, National Taiwan uh, Sport University, and the other school, they about take uh, four years and five years. But at least three and four years is normal. So this is, is the general situation uh, uh, of sports science programs in Taiwan. So now I, I report the situation here, then just stop here. And I would like to listen the participants' uh, uh, question. Okay. Uh, silahkan, bila ada pertanyaan, para peserta bisa langsung bertanya atau menulis di chat room. Please, for participants, you can uh, directly to have question to the professor or you can have a chat. Uh, you can write in chat room. So it's about first, it, if anyone want to study in Professor Lu University, you can ask. Oh, I, I received a, a feedback from, uh, let me see. Uh, uh, from uh from Bawang. India. From Bawang. Bawang Singh from India. Uh, many, many participants. Uh, yeah, thank you, Bawang. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh smart, smart thing. yeah, yeah, many, many. Uh Ratano. Yeah. Uh I I think for us. Was, I, I have one another uh, comment about the PhD program. For PhD degree, it's very important for every every uh, every uh, student or uh, uh, for science because PhD program allow you to first earn more knowledge, earn more knowledge about sports science. Second, promote yourself, promote yourself. And when, when we say Indonesia, Philippines, Taiwan, Malaysia, all students in sports science, you have lots of opportunity to go to the international arena. What does it mean arena? That means if you have good research, you can publish your paper. So for example, recently, up. I published lots of papers, so people under know me. And because we, if we, I published only in Taiwan, or published for you, published in you know, Indonesia, nobody know you. But you have an international journal paper that's a share for all international uh, 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 community. And once you have a done paper, that's good for you to, you know, to looking for job position in everywhere, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, UK, United States. I graduated from uh, uh, United States, University of North Carolina at Greensboro. And actually, if you are good in English, proficiency in English, it's good. There's a two things to do. One is proficiency in English. One is strong in academy publication and research. It's, so you have lots of opportunity to go out abroad. So I, I understand also Indian. You know, Indian is a big country. And a small number of sports science people from India, they are very ambitious, very ambitious. So they, they go to all over the world. I think Indonesia is the same because Indonesia have many good students. So last time I visit UNIS, UNIS, Samalan, I talked to the undergraduate students. They are, they are, they are, they are all good students, but they know the outside of the world just a little bit. But because the, the internet, now they open their eyes. And in, in young, young, young people, they have a brain, they have a brain. They are diligent, they are hardworking, and they understand the world. So they give them the direction. They are only not only in Indonesia. They, if they, they, they get PhD degree, they can stay in Indonesia as a professor in every university in Indonesia. Then they also go, can go through everywhere as a researcher, other faculty members. I, as I understand, 
in Taiwan, we have many outstanding PhD students. Now they are, have their job in the United States, in China, in New Zealand, and the UK. So it depends on your hard work. So the world is equal, but the opportunity is depends on your, 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 your performance, academic performance. So last time teaching in, in my schools, he published international journals. The school offered him 800 US dollars. What? That's, uh, he was happy, I know. Uh, but in, 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 my, in my school, if a professor uh, published a uh, ranking first, that's Q1, when Q1 first, you are only one also. You are, you are, you, you, you are reward about 2,300 US dollars. But Q2, Q2, that's uh, 2,000. And Q3, Q3, about, about uh, 1,050, uh, uh, 50, uh, uh, 500. And for Q4, at least 500. So it's a, it's a reward system, reward system. So once you have a good public, publication in international journals, that you, you earn lots of opportunity and you can talk to people. So now I have a many uh, connection in, in Asia area, Korea, Japan, China, Hong Kong, Singapore, uh, Indonesia, Malaysia. For example, like, like uh, Professor Gary Guan of Malaysia. He's a very famous professor. He, he earned his degree from Australia, uh, Victoria University. And he's quite enthusiastic, hardworking, published many, many papers. So that Gary Kwan is now is very, very outstanding. But for Indonesian uh, a student, you have a very potential, very great potential. So the problem is you have to work hard, study hard. It is not, it is not say, oh, PE is nothing, PE just postponed, not that. P is is a academy domain. That's a very broad. Mm -hmm. Everyone, you are in P E physical education department, but you are a good student. You study hard. You talk to your professor very often, and you study at home through internet system. You speak good English, write English. Now every papers you mm -hmm. you can use the grammar. Grammar will check your grammar. For example, today I finished a study, a manuscript, and I I submit to 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 my 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 uh, my professor to share, and and she uh, we still have a, a connection, and she comments to me because she is a United States uh, professor. And recently we published a, a paper. It's a course systematic review and meta analysis uh, on the effects of uh, outdoor education program on adolescents' uh, self-efficacy. That's a good, that's a Q2, perceptual moral skill. And I know, I know the perceptual moral skill because in, in the past, perceptual moral skills, this, this journal is Q4, but recently they, they have a they have a reform. They become strong and strong. And I also know many uh, editors in in open access, like a uh, uh, frontiers in psychology, plus one, and and PLJ. and all the all the all the editor they, they 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 talk to me, they would like accept the good paper. Last time I remember I <laughs> I have a cooperation with uh, uh do you remember the the, the your, uh, health science uh, that what that's what uh, what wow. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a paper rejected many times by journal. That, that, that it's, it, it's a very normal, it's a very normal. It's a because the reason why? Because some theoretical, uh, theoretical background is not so strong, first one. The second is methodology, that's good. So when, 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 when we want to publish an international paper, First, you have good topics. Topics come from literature. From literature, you, you, you find a research gap. 
and you 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 design a good method to correct uh, to correct the data. I remember last year, I published a uh, sports psychology uh, uh, papers regarding to uh, imagery. Imagery in 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 uh, sports psychology literature, they 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 have a new concept about imagery called P E T T L E P, Petty Lab Imagery Approach. And and I found the research gap is all the papers they use what use Bobo uh, 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 manuscript, Bobo uh, Bobo script to 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 have imagery, but I use a new one. I do a visualize uh, imagery uh, by using P E T T L E P. P E T T L E P mean when we do a imagery, you need a, you need to consider about physical component. E the environment component. P E T task task and timing, and our learning, and emotion and perspective, and and basically of this uh, theoretical background, I designed a very good good uh, research uh, design. I use internal and external uh, visualized imagery, and I published it in, in the uh, uh, psychology of, of sport and exercise. That's a, that's a Q1. It was Q1 between Q1 and Q2. And so when, when the students, when the students, they, they, read, they read the papers, they read the uh, textbook, they have lots of questions, and they can talk to professor. And then the professor and, and, and discuss with the question, then go back to search the, the, the problem. And if they find a problem, it, the, the problem is very important, then they can design a method, method to correct data and use a, a appropriate a, a statistic. Many students, they say, oh, statistics are very difficult. Not at all. Why? Because you can learn all statistics. For example, ANOVA, VANOVA, multivariate, structure equation modeling, uh, 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 meta analysis from what? From international, uh, uh, in, in internet, internet system. For example, structure equation model is a better advanced statistic for all students. But now become very easy. Why? First, you 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 have a software almost. Second, you the YouTube YouTube can teach you how to how to perform the analysis. So we use we use uh, structural equation model and publish lots of paper. And then and, and, and so so statistics, so good design, good data, good statistics analysis. And write down, write down. You have a paper, you have a, your figures, and all paper have a very, very good English, very good, good, good uh, 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 writing. So you can submit to the paper. So the the optimal, the optimal goal for a PhD student or, or for a scholar is what? For publication. If a good publication, it's it's Prove you have a good ability. If you are just you just finish your PhD degree and no publication, that's mean you are not not. So that's my my suggestion for the, uh, our participants either in Indonesia, Philippines, uh, Malaysia, uh, India. Who, uh, no matter who who you are, come from where, it it. Because I'm a senior, I, I have been here for 30, 40 years. I'm I, in the in the first beginning. I write a paper called sports psychology in Chinese, and you know that that's that's the beginning, because only only writing a, a textbook for domestic student that's basic knowledge. But if if, if we want to achieve a high good degree, that means we want we want to publish journal papers, and and. And to publish a journal paper, of course, we need uh, lots of you know research idea. We we need a, a uh, lab 
for example, for for example, if teaching one of uh, a publisher good paper, you need what? You need good exercise with the other equipment and apparatus. You have a good good lab, good exercise psychology uh, with your lab. You have organ tremor and blood sampling and analyzers. That you need it. It needs a it needs a budget. So you so every year in in teaching understand exercise physiology. They share lots of annual budget from my department. We we understand they're important. Uh, uh, that is not only tremor, not not only uh, uh, airbag uh, correction. Not only uh, bra symbolize all kinds of polar polar bear to, to monitor the uh, heart rate and and, and all, all kind of testing uh, 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 medicine. So for sports psychology, of course, we don't need uh, so many uh, uh, equipment to collect data, but at least we have uh, we have uh, you know uh, motor learning uh, equipment. So. So you have you have you have you have good you have a good good uh, equipment you have good apparatus you have a good professor you are working very hard of course you can making a good good paper in Taiwan in the most top or the most top uh, uh, academic performance in Taiwan in sports science is access uh, uh, is a sports psychology particularly for those people use EEG. Do you, you understand the EEG? Under, EEG is collected, the, you know, uh, a brain uh, 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 activity from it, it 64 channels you know, around it. So they, 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 doing, they collect data from EEG uh, activity and they, 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 they compare the uh, novice prayer and the expertise prayer and understand what's the difference. Yeah. So, so now, now Taiwan because because we we have excellent uh, uh, EEG uh, functional MRI that's a uh, sports psychology and exercise uh, physiology. The other the other one is you know scanner like for example the eye scanner that that's a uh, uh, that's a, that's a also very very uh, advanced uh, apparatus in Taiwan and but for for biomechanics teaching understand. In, in uh, Dr. Penn's uh, uh, biomechanics lab, they have all kinds of uh, equipment for biomechanics, like a high speed camera. They have 12 cameras from all directions. They have a, 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 a biomechanics uh, uh, force spray to measure the power. So, so a uh, uh, sports science lab needs lots of equipment to collect data. So, and, and and in the first beginning, if your schools have not so sufficient the budget, you can process uh, uh, this year about thirty percent, next year about fifty percent, and then next year about hundred percent to to buy all the necessary equipment. So that's my suggestion. So, uh, you know, to to be a, a you know. Uh, Outstanding problems in academy. I I I have I have witnessed the progress of Taiwan. Look, in the in in year 1990, 2000, 2010, and 2021. Within these 40 years, Taiwan a big improvement. In the past, if we say oh, sports science in Asia, probably only Hong Kong. Uh, Singapore, uh, because they speak English, and some uh, scholars from uh, United States of UK. But today, it's different. Taiwan only uh, 23 million people, but we have lots of outstanding uh, sports scientists from uh, sports psychology, exercise physiology, biomechanics, and, and exercise uh, sports medicine. So, so that that's the, I think because I I, I have visited uh, 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 Indonesia. I think Indonesia can do that, Philippines can do that, Malaysia can do that, Thailand can do that. It depends on the the the, the, the government 
the schools and the students. Okay, my, I talk too much. I stop my uh, uh, speech here and waiting for others' interaction. Okay, Titi, how, how long I, I have uh, to, to talk? Uh, you have still have time to talk. And okay, okay. Oh, no, no, no. I, I like to listen to uh, uh, opinion or comment or, or question from the participants. Yeah, this is have a question in the chat box. Uh, you, 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 can, you can ask them in Indonesia and, and you translate in English. Okay, um, but this is have a hello from Stefan Gomez from Malaysia. And then from Mr. Rifan Sakita, he asking about uh, to collaboration together between, uh, he asking about how about in Taiwan, like in our university, in Chinese culture university have collaboration with industry and also in sport industry. How about that? Oh, oh let me, let me tell you the progress. Last time, uh, uh, I, I, I unit uh, 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 Summerland and they, they have a group come to visit to, to talk to, to the international uh, exchange always, but suspend because of the, because of COVID-19. I have to go back to check. Yes, we actually will sign agreement, mutual interchange, including two things. One is allow students come to here, but now it's, it's expand, it, uh, sub, uh, you know, uh, stop for a while because of COVID-19. And this kind is a, a, a mutual curriculum uh, uh, ascent. Uh, so unfortunately, it's, uh, it's I, I, let me tell you, just stop. But after, after the COVID-19, I can, I will talk to uh, an international uh, exchange office. Okay. And then this have a question from student. Yeah. Of physical education. And now he's in, tai, in Taiwan and he would like to join in your lab. Uh, he's Fajri Widodo, please welcome. He will ask him you directly, okay. Is it okay? Hello. Oh. Hello, Prof. Hello, oh, Fa Fa Fajri. Fajri, yeah. nice to meet you. Where nice to meet you, too, you In National Taipei University Nursing Health and Science, Prof. Oh. In Shepai. Oh, that's good, that's good, that's good. But the, what area is yours? Uh, right now I'm studying in sports science, master sports of sports science, science, prof. Yes. And uh, I mean, of uh, which which uh, major? Which major? Uh, sports psychology, exercise physiology, or biomechanics? Uh, uh, right now here I'm focused on the sport biomechanics in the oh. and the NHS. But actually, I'm doing double degree also in UNES, prof, for master in in UNES. Uh. I'm pursuing for sport sec focus on sports psychology also, prof. And then I have interest in the sports psychology for my PhD program. So, is there any offered program for PhD for the next academic year? Because I'm really interested to pursuing my doctoral degree in uh, PCCU, prof. Oh, oh. Let, let, let me tell you one thing, Fajri. Um, yes. University of Taipei has a very good. Uh, 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 biomechanics department in the US. I, 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 I know they have a co-graduate institute of uh, technology of sports science, but technology, sports technology, a graduate institute of sports technology. What it means, graduate institute of sports technology, that means this department is a master degree and, and, and PhD degree. And they specialize in what? Uh, sporting equipment manufacturing. So in this department, they teach students how to apply, apply the technology knowledge into the uh, sporting equipment design. So I, as I understand, after graduate from this school, they, they go to a uh, sporting company to produce uh, um, for example, like a shoes, a golf club, or, or, or bicycle design. So this, this is a very um, um, promising uh, department. So now you are in, in that school. You can, you can, you, it, I think that's probably your, your department. So you, you say biomechanics, right? Uh, sorry, I'm in 
NTU NHS Prof. NTU NHS. NTU with NTU NHS Nursing in the nursing. Ah, 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 Theory courses like a, like a, 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 a nutrition, sport nutrition, sport science, sport medicine, and exercise physiology. He probably had uh, lots of courses to ask to to read the basic knowledge and and basic uh, research methods and statistics. That's a, that's for a master degree. But if you 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 if you are uh, perform well, that what you mean perform well, you have to actively to talk to professor and to see what professor are doing, especially for what for leading professor. If, if not all professor they are very actively doing the research and publication, but if you because I know you, you your school is a good school, I know last time I I I went there for a revival for must read. And some professor, they are really outstanding. And, and you, that my suggestion is talk to the professor and help him or her to collect data or analyze the data. And if any publication, he will endorse you as a co also. So if you take this, this step, you, you, you now become even more familiar with the, you know, uh, with the research. And, and publication. So when you apply, apply the school in Taiwan, it's not only Chinese College University. You can apply to, to National Taiwan Normal University, University of Taipei, and all other schools. So now it's very good, good for you, very good for you. But, but I think generally for, for graduate school students, for master's person, I have a two advice. One is, Good for for statistics, so you you uh, you know you can you can borrow the advanced statistics from the library and you can you can analyze the data. For for me, I, I need the people enter the data and then analyze the data for me. And, and if you are you are good enough, I can give you scholarship. So that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's the strategy I, I suggest you. So talk to people. Talk to the, the leading professor and help him or her to collect data and analyze data for, for her. So this create an opportunity for, for in the future in other school. Okay. Thank you, Professor Lu. Is it okay, Fajri? Yes, uh, thank you, uh, Ma'am Titin. And then thank you, Prof. Prof. Fang. Okay, so maybe next I time really we can go to Yaming San. Yeah, and, uh, from there. Hey, and here also have Castor Pido, Professor Lu. And oh. they are all my my friend when yeah. in that school. Uh, Castor Pido is not is a very good position in, in Taipei. So and yeah. he, oh, no, okay. he has two sons. Okay. Hello, 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 Casto. Yeah, thank you. Two sons, right? Oh, one son, yeah. one daughter. It's only one son, Professor. <laughs> oh, one son, one daughter. Okay, yeah, congratulations. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Professor. Okay. Uh, hello, Dr. Dr. Sumirti English. Yeah, yeah. Are you, are you, are you listening? Oh, yeah. Bawan, Bawan. Hello, Bawan. How are you? Uh, fine, sir. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. I have, <laughs> I have listened to your entire lecture. You had you have uh, uh, explained very nicely your topic and all. So oh, thank I, you. Uh, thanks a lot to you. I'm very grateful to Uns and uh, especially Dr. Smriti Ingis. She has organized such nice program and uh, invite you uh, as a such nice lecture. 
Thank you. And, and where are you? Which part of Indonesia you are? I'm in the, India, yeah. in Mumbai. Oh, India? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. You're in India. Good, good. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know India have been many uh, you know, outstanding scars there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No doubt. Yeah. Uh, she is my she is my very good friend. Uh, we are associated always uh, in lecture programs and uh, conferences. Oh, really? So, Doctor Sumerti English. <laughs> uh, good, good, good. Oh. So once once again, thanks to Doctor uh, Sumerti. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Doctor Pawan Singh. Uh, he is an expert in yoga. <laughs> oh, yoga. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yoga psychology. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is have a question from Mr. Wait, Habibi about uh, about the participation in sport in Taiwan for the student in elementary school and also in high school, how, how impact the sport for all to increase fitness and how many percent participation citizen Taiwan? Okay. Thank you, Prof. Uh, Ariyati, right? Habibi. Habibi. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Good question. Actually, uh, you, you were question about elementary and middle school and high school in Taiwan. Uh, the sport is very important. Uh, the children are uh, engaged in competitive sports because they get very start very, very early. And it, it, because, you know, when parents allow their, uh, their children to engage in competitive sport, it needs a lot of time. And we in in elementary we 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 don't specialization, but still still some schools they have all kinds of uh, uh, competitive sport pro, uh, competitive sport program, like a uh, baseball basketball baseball is very popular, and tennis table tennis badminton track and field, judo uh, and all kinds of sport. But for for juniors middle school, middle school and senior high school, it is more intensive training, intense training. And in Taiwan, engage in campus sport, it's rewarding, it's rewarding. And from junior middle school and senior high, high school, we have a specialized uh, education program we call uh, a, a, space, a, a sport talent class. So, some schools, they have sport talent class. For, for students, they participate in sport talent class, they have an intensive training. They, in the morning, they, are, they, they join the uh, academy activity. In the afternoon, they in, engage in all kinds of intense training. So, and because the reward is quite high in Taiwan, if you look, the reward like, like this, Domestic competition, if you got a good performance, you got reward from the government, local government and central government. And if you were good enough, like uh, like a Tai Ying, Tai Zi Ying badminton, now she's an international uh, uh, sport star. So, so she earned the money from international competition, also from a local uh, commercial uh, sponsorship, and also from uh, uh, a government and, and a financial support. So it's quite, 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 quite rewarding. And the number of the percentage in elementary, junior, and senior high school is, is around three and five percent of all students. Not, not because you know. Sport, campus sport, needs a lot of uh, investment. That means need the money. So it depends on a parents' uh, uh, educational concept. But for sports for all, very popular. It's a it's a composite courses design. So all of, all the of schools, elementary schools, they in 
they have, uh, you know, uh, because their, their lecture, their academy uh, class only 30 minutes. So it, there are sufficient hours in case all, 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 all sport activities, but not specialized. Just, just, you know, just, you know, play ball games, running, and, and that's all. Uh, for, for junior and senior uh, high schools, they have three hours official uh, uh, compulsory courses. And the other time they have, uh, they engage in all kinds of uh, uh, legal activity. Uh, kendo, jogging, archery, anything, anything they like. So, so basically they, they have two paths, compare sport and sports for all. And in elementary, junior and senior high schools, Public uh, uh, sports for all is almost everyone uh, a participant, but for specialized specialization is like what I say about three to five percent. And especially we have a core class in junior and senior high school. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Professor Lu. And then I have question from Mrs. Ariati. Mall. Okay. Miss Mrs. Ariati? Yes, I am. Yeah. Actually, I tried to write the question, but now you, you give me a chance to have it. Actually, I'm a PhD uh, in uh, early childhood, uh, but my research is uh, all, uh, based on uh, physical literacy or activity, uh, physical activities. So, on in my question here, uh, since you have, uh, I don't know, it sounds like your background is like sport industry and psychologies. And when I see it, actually in this uh, moment, I feel like uh, to look on the Taiwan has a very strong PE. Uh, and then they have like, uh, not only a program, but they have like requirement or little bit forcing at school. So, my point is uh, how to encourage that system. And I, maybe I want to relate it to Indonesia because Indonesia has a PE, but I'm not sure it's the main subject. Uh, everybody want to agree with that because maybe the, the PE teacher is okay, but how about the rest of the administration or the, uh, the, uh, or the staff to help them because they need like at least one hour uh, to be vigorous on activity, especially today in based on uh, the, our situation. And then they don't see it in, in individual, but they encourage them from the virtual. That's uh, one of the question. And then the second one is how uh, to give them uh, any, uh, in, uh, any relation our your uh, maybe culturally because you improve from a long long term uh, program uh, succeed and then we can maybe uh, get some of this uh, action to to do it for our, our community too thank you so much for okay. your time ah. no i understand ariati you are a, a physical education educator so you're quite concerned about the health and physical activity in all, all in, 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 in Taiwan. Yeah, uh, it, because in the, in, the, in the, I think in the past 10 years, we, we, uh, we have a movement, it's called uh, exercise medicine. You, you understand that concept? Exercise in medicine. The second kind of concept is uh, exercise improve cognitive functioning. Yeah, so, yeah. because because of because of concept in 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 we saw we we call three labels elementary uh, junior and senior middle schools we have a call like a zero hours physical education program. That's mean uh, in 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 the morning, you know, uh, students are in you know before the formal class we we start our. Uh, formal class from 7.30. I, I mean, before the COVID-19. Now, now, Taiwan is also uh, a semi-lockdown situation. 
when students they they come to the schools, they have a they they have a thirty minutes of you know of physical activity. So so they they what they allow children to running, jogging, or play basketball. They are not allowed to stay in the class. They are they are forced to you know to play all kinds of sporting activity to improve improvement health. And this 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 second point is is now the the parents in Taiwan, the understanding of importance of physical education and and and, and, and sport. So some parents they willing to pay extra uh, tuition fee to invite my students or other uh, physical education students to teach their children to play all kinds of sport. For example, for example, in Taiwan, my student down here, Temu, you know, I didn't understand. It. In 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 local community, any any uh, physical education student they teach one children one hours basketball best years, thirty US dollars, thirty or to thirty five. So our fee is very very high. So I I I once I I. Uh, talk to my student. He he is a uh, tennis player. I I told I told him how many hours you earn from this uh, tuition sport tuition. It, it, this is not in in the form of in the school, but it that the parents send their children to 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 the to the public tennis course. It's a totally about seventy to 100 hours of, of, of teaching. 70, that's been, we said, at least 2,000. 2,000 and, and one year, uh, uh, 2,000, one month, 2,000, 2,500. Uh, uh, that's a, that's a high, 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 you know, high salary for him, only part-time. So I understand in, uh, some students, they graduate from physical education department. They cannot find a formal job in schools, but they are all sport coach. Basketball is quite popular. And this, this, the, the, the second popular uh, job for sport and physical education students is an uh, exercise and fitness instructor. I, I think Gusto understand that because uh, now we call it call we call it a frenzy of fitness. So young people in Taiwan they like the bodybuilding. We're training. So every hour, every one hour, sixty minutes, three, uh, thirty to thirty-five uh, US dollar. So each one, each one. If you come two person at the same time, the same thing. You have to pay thirty to thirty-five. Depends on. Depends on the reputation of the instructors. So I don't worry about my students, uh, their, their job. I always tell them, you have to first, you have to master the sporting skill. Play basketball, volleyball, tennis, table tennis, uh, badminton. Second, you need the degree. So if, if you are good uh, 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 sport teachers, coaches, People are willing to pay you, so that's that's your question. Your question about about the uh, uh, physical activity sport in in Taiwan. That's the situation. I forget about your second question. What is your second question? Already, actually, uh, based on uh, the culturally, like the activity of there in in all, because actually Indonesia know the sport, but they don't have the the eager like psychologically they don't really want to use it they don't want to uh, to move it their butt <laughs> ah <laughs> to, to be moved <laughs> ah. i know you, you're talking about motivation right yes motivation so, to engage in sport and physical debit uh yeah 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 uh, this, this is a good question actually uh uh our government and they have uh you know uh, uh they have uh, uh we call public education policy. 
to encourage people. So we have uh, lots of uh, uh, sport facility. But now, now, now it's like, it's a, it's semi lacking, you know. It's it's because we 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 uh, we are we are level three. We are level three for COVID nineteen. So we are not allow uh, people exercise and physical in, in 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 public. But actually, we have lots of public facility. For example, in Taipei, around the Taipei city, we have a three hundred kilometer bicycle way. So you can go just bicycle, and we have lots of uh, public uh, facility, soccer, basketball, tennis, and swimming pool. So basically, how many people uh, they are fav favorite of, of sport and physical activity? Uh, unfortunately, that's not come. But for, for your answer, that's been the government, they, they want to promote our physical activity and sport. They, they, they have offer public uh, 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 facility to all people all and then and more people engage in physical activity and sport thank you thank you uh, is it okay mrs Ariati? yes thank you very much that's yeah. a good point yeah and do you have any question again from mr oh wait john Nguyen. john you are here Uh, John Nguyen. Yes, hello, hello. Yeah, yeah. Good, good, you want asking directly or I wait for actually, you? Actually, it is not a question. Uh, when my uh, professor talk about the EEG, uh -huh. so I, I just write up uh, one uh, another method for measure the uh, the cortical activity using another technique. So actually, it's not a question. Ah, oh, it's not a question, just statement. Okay. Yes, thank you. Okay, okay but I have some comment up uh, to to John. Um, um, I think advanced uh, uh, equipment is very helpful to collect uh, scientific data. So that's why EGG uh, is you know uh, they use a uh, more you know more advanced. I mean, uh, for example, sixty four channel EEG uh, brain. It's a, it can monitor all activity in everywhere, and, and so I, I I told you National Taiwan Normal University this sports psychiatry lab they use this a, a approach to collect a very good data, uh, and their their research including sport and exercise for sport they they you know they compare the ED athlete their activity in their brain, and for exercise psychology. They, they compare, you know, uh, uh, a physical activity and the cognitive function. So I think Zhong, 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 you are very interesting in EEG, uh, this equipment. Yeah, it's, it's good to correct data and publish good paper. Thank you. Yeah, I remember last time when I studied with you, you give us the meta-analysis, right? Right, right, right. Yeah. Tell you, tell you, tell you, <laughs> now. Then, no, we, we, we have okay. a one paper published, one paper under review, and three paper under correcting data. So actually, it never, never ending. But we are doing, doing yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe we, next we, time. We have, a, we have a two uh, systemic review already published. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is, this is a good method for people. They don't have, uh, they don't have time to, to, or they don't have equipment to correct data. Systemic review and meta analysis, very good, very good, good research method. Okay, and this is a question from Professor Sugianto about how to handle the research for doctoral program student in dissertation during new normal uh, when they're taking data collection. Ah, in Professor Sugianto, <laughs> you, you face the same, same problem with me, you know. It's, uh, you know, when you're working with a student, it's, uh, you need to more, motivate more the student, you know, let the correct data, you know, yeah. And they, they, for me, for me, my, my, my method is, you know, uh, I assign, I assign. When we, when we uh, work, uh, 
work together to re uh, we read the paper or in the, during the class or during the uh, out of class we talk to students about uh, the research question and and I use this method we use a team for example now recently we work on a, a memory review and, and for example teaching I and Professor Skia and Ta, we we separate. You do this, you do this, and do this. So, and, but before doing this, we have to uh, confirm our problem, research problem, research question. So once we decided to, to do our research, so Professor Skianta, you can assign who do this, who do this, and do this. And then, then after, uh, you know, after everybody fits in their, their, their job, and it, you start to you know write a manuscript. So that, that's my method. So we, I continuously do my research because every time when I talk to students, when I during the lecture, I think Skianta, you you have a lot of lecture when you are talking about one paper or one issues. You you when you 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 create a research idea, you can talk further, ask students. You for example. For example, uh, student A, you go to uh, find a literature for me. So it's a very convenient. From Google Scholar from 2015 to 2021, anyone do this paper? If not, okay, now your idea you can do it. So my 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 suggestion is teamwork. Second, assign everyone a, a task. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for a good answer and good question. And then have a Luciana, Mrs. Luciana, you are there? Yeah, you want to ask him directly to Professor Franglo. Okay, now is your time. Thank you. Uh, suaranya belum terdengar dengan jelas. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you, Mrs. And uh, the first time I said uh, thank you for Prof. Sukianto because uh, I have a in this info from him. And then uh, good morning, uh, Prof. Frank Lu. Uh, introduce by myself first. Uh, my name is Luciana. Uh, I'm from the Unwahas Wahid Hasim University in Central Java. Okay, nice to meet you, Mr. Frank. Okay. Nice to meet you. Uh, um, so Frank, uh, we have uh, the big project about the super nutrition. Uh, we did. Okay, we have uh, meet with the Philippines, the second, the second meeting, and then uh, we have collaboration with the Philippines too about the super nutrition. Uh, May I have a collaboration with uh, you about the shocker? And then uh, before uh, collaboration, uh, what is the I to do for the uh, for the collaboration? We we doing the collaboration with the Philippine Linda. Now we have uh, we have to uh, make the. MOU Memorandum of Understanding. Uh, this is like uh, with you or not? If if I want to collaborate about the research collaborate, thank you, Mr. Frank. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, Professor Luisana, you are very uh, hardworking and yeah, very ambitious. Yeah. Uh, uh sport nutrition is very. Uh, high uh, subject in Taiwan. And I also know many outstanding sport uh, nutrition people, they combine with sport medicine and they publish a good journal in SICI. But if you would like to uh, cooperation with the Taiwanese scholars, you know, first you have to email to him or her, email him or her then, and, and talking about your ideas. And generally, uh, if, if the research idea is, is you know, very uh, significant, and you can, of course, like this, co 
collect data in each country, then comparison. As I understand, in 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 southern Taiwan, there are outstanding uh, uh, scholars. He collect data from Finland and Taiwan, mainland Taiwan, and also, also, you can uh, propose your international collaboration project to governments, world government. For us, if we are propose a, a international cooperation uh, uh, project to our Ministry of Science and Technology, yeah. and he, he will allow you financial support. So the, 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 my suggestion is two step. One is you connect with Taiwanese uh, yeah. scholar who is uh, good in, in sports nutrition. And second is, you know, write down a full project and apply financial support from government or school. Thank you. Thank you very much, Professor yeah. Wenglu. Uh, is it okay, yeah. Mrs. Luciana? Actually, there is have, uh, so many questions in the Excel. Yeah. So in the registration form, there's have many questions. This is have uh, from Professor Dr. Satya Rahayu. Oh, how are you? Okay. Yeah. So, Mr. Mrs. Satya Rahayu, you are asking directly or I also want to uh, read about his question about how the implementation of physical education during COVID-19 in Taiwan. And, oh, okay. and Professor Satya Rahayu can ask him directly also. <laughs> okay, thank you, Prof. Frank Lu. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Last time you come to my my left and visit and, and give me the, the uh, 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 Indonesian uniform. That's, that's very good. <laughs> I take Indonesia. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I have a, a question. Uh, how implementation uh, physical education uh, in school during uh, COVID-19 pandemic in uh, Taiwan? Ah, that's a very good question. Yes, yes. Ah, uh, during the, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so now, now people are in Taiwan, they use a online, online uh, exercise and fitness course for the student and for public. Yeah, because look, look at the situation right now in Taiwan. We are level three, level three. Recently, we, we outbreak. We outbreak our local uh, transmission uh, um, beginning of May. So in increased rapidly, 400, 500, up, all the way. And recently, during the four, these four days, day after tomorrow, this decreased down 70, 80, 70, 80. So we decreased down. But level three, that means we are not allowed to dine in, in restaurant. We are now using the uh, sport facilities. So all of, you know, all of the public and uh, private uh, exercise fitness gym, they are all shut down and closed. It's uh, terrible. So people are not allowed to exercise and sport outside. So they, 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 they you know, they're they doing the exercise at home. So now we have, we have a new, you know, new business called uh, online exercise finished instruction. And actually it's, it's very hard. I know because if you are not uh, exercise in the public press in under the instruction of the, the uh, uh, coach, you are, it's hard, no motivation to do that, you know. But it is very important during the uh, COVID-19 lockdown or semi-lockdown to do exercise and physical activity. Fortunately, I, my, my lab, my lab, near my lab, they got a, a, a fitness, you know, a, a center. So I, yeah, even across, I, I can do it. Yeah. But for for people, they are locked down at home. They can, they really need exercise. For example, yoga. My my, my wife, she do the yoga. And, and she do, but it, you know, yoga just one hour and 30 minutes, you know, it becomes an all strength. And I, my student recently, he, he, he told me he developed an online course doing 
all kinds of, you know, uh, uh, weight training, personal, you know, without equipment, uh, do the fitness. That's very important. Everybody can do that. Very good. Good. Okay. Did him. Did him yes. because uh, 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 now it's, uh, I think it is a 10 in, uh, uh, it's a 11 in Indonesia, right? Yes. Now in, in Toyo in Taiwan, because I, I have another um, meeting to do. So I would like to stop here and, and you yeah. keep your, your, your uh, final, okay? Thank you very much, Professor. I have to, I have to leave and, and so I'm so happy to see you all the uh, friends from Indonesia, Philippines, Malaysia, India. Okay, so let's stop here. I have to leave, sorry, okay. Yeah. But, uh, but we're waiting for your guest lecture next time about meta analysis data. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good. That's a good idea. That, yeah, we we do a workshop. Okay, for that. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Before we closing, maybe can we take the picture together? Yeah, of course, of course, of course, of course. Of course. Of course. person now is one hundred. Oh, one hundred. One hundred. Good. Good. Okay, Mr. Melody. Hello, you are there. Okay. Yeah. yeah, would you please take a picture, please? All of yes, you, share your camera. Bapak Ibu, mohon hidupkan kameranya. Kami akan mengambil uh, nomor untuk dokumentasi. I'm so sorry, I have to come. come. I have to. Okay, mohon uh, <coughs> hidupkan kameranya semuanya, tolong. Uh, kami akan mendokumentasikan kegiatan ini. Ah, Oke. Okay. Ya. Sekali lagi para peserta mohon hidupkan kameranya. Kami akan mendokumentasikan kegiatan ini. Masih belum hidup semua Ibu. Uh, Oke. Okay. Saya akan ambil gambar bagian pertama dulu. Uh, masih proses menghidupkan kamera. Saya tunggu dulu sebentar ya, Bu. Oke. Okay. Uh, and here also have uh, Mr. Trilustiadi, Professor Sukiharto, and all participants from Aden University from Medan. And then from UNJ, Jakarta. Jogjakarta also. Uh, Elisa Kale, where are you from? I think it's from India, I don't, I don't know. So thank you very much for all participants that I forget to call your name. Oh, your name, thank you. Okay, sudah belum, Mas? Satu, masuk ke halaman dua, masuk ke halaman tiga, tapi mostly in... Silahkan dibuka videonya. Hanya dia Bunda saya sakit. jangan lupa putin. <laughs> ya. Apanya yang jangan lupa? <laughs> Pak Andre. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yang I I I I have I've write down my email uh, uh, on the message and yeah. I hope to see you next time. Okay. So I have to leave now. Okay. Thank you very much Professor oh, Frank okay. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye everyone. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you very much. Thank uh, you, Prof. Mohon maaf para peserta semua karena waktu beliau sangat terbatas dan karena kesibukan beliau waktunya sangat terbatas dan tadi ke, untuk PPT-nya kekelupaan. Jadi via manual. Semoga penjelasan beliau bisa dimengerti dengan mudah. Dan bila ada pertanyaan, nanti bisa ditanyakan di grup guest lecture atau bisa langsung email ke beliau. Terima kasih atas kehadirannya. Uh, tadi belum lupa nggak ngasih apa namanya um, sertifikat ke beliau. <laughs> uh, untuk partisipan sertifikatnya ada dua. Silahkan uh, jangan lupa untuk ambil foto 
screenshot nanti untuk diisikan di form, di upload 